Welcome back to my channel. My name is Britt and I make videos about books and about illustrating and my small business and I thought for this vlog I would do a little reading vlog slash a few days in my life of what's happening, what's been happening. It's Tuesday today, this morning. I just started work, it's currently 10 to 10 and um, the book that I'm currently reading is The Love Hypotheses, written by Ellie Hazelwood. I'm reading this one on my Kindle because it's a bit easier to take it with me on the train because this one is quite big. And this is just a very fun romance about two scientists who are fake dating and which will like probably turn into real dating. I'm about halfway through this book. It's really fun. Um, I'm just not really the biggest romance reader, but I just wanted to read something light and quick because I've been reading like two quite big books. I'm listening to Babel by R.F. Kung and I'm reading Arcadia by Ian Pierce on my Kindle. But both of these books are quite big and dense. So I just wanted to read something a bit easier to, you know, calm my mind a bit, basically. Um, but this morning I've just been doing some work. I've been making some bookmark sets that I'll be bringing to the shop in Delft today because I'm going to be working in the Swan Market store in Delft, which is a concept store where I sell my products and I also occasionally work there. So I'm going to be restocking, I'm going to be doing all of these pin backing cards that I just cut. I just need to cut them into smaller bits, but um, I'm gonna take these with me to put all my sunflower pins on there. And I'm going to be prepping some coasters as well. I always like to do these little tasks in the shop when it's a little bit quiet sometimes, especially at the beginning of the week. So I still do something productive for my own shop basically my own brand um so i'm gonna be taking that with me and hopefully get a lot done today in stores i hope you're going to enjoy this vlog and i will keep you updated on my reading and what i've been up to okay before i leave to go to the store i just got something fun in the mail because i've been doing way more markets this year and i wanted to have like a banner that i can put on the table so people can see from further like the brand <laughs> and also maybe like on top um, if I have one of these market stalls that has a little roof, basically. <laughs> so I made this. Wait, I need to show you the right way around. It's a big banner that says basically Brit. By the way, you may realize that this is a new logo because I thought I would kind of do a little rebrand and I wanted a new logo because the sunflower logo has been there for years. So now this is it. And these are some illustrations that I made little toadstools so it's just a really big banner and I'm very happy with how um with how it turned out I thought it might be very heavy but it's super super lightweight so yay so next time I'm gonna do a market I'll be able to use the banner to market my stall the next market that I'll be at let me see the 23rd of March I will be in Utrecht in the library of Utrecht and then the 7th of April, I will also be in Utrecht actually at the Swan Market on the Vredenburg Square. So I'm very excited for that. Yay! So then I can definitely use the banner. But now I need to grab my stuff and go over to Delft to work in the stall. And I'm probably gonna do a bit of reading on the train whilst going there.
Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. I am working from home today because there is someone like this guy coming over who needs to look at the gas and the electricity so I need to stay at home for that but that's a good thing because I have lots of things to do. First I'm gonna pack some orders then I need to continue on working on like a design a bookmark design that I'm doing as a job thing that's not for myself and I am going to try to film some reels maybe and maybe start editing this vlog just lots of little things to do and I also read a little bit more from the love hypothesis yesterday I think I'm like 56% of the way through because I'm reading it on my kindle and it's very fun I'm enjoying it a lot I just haven't really read that much the past few weeks like this month I haven't finished a single book yet and like the last two months I read like 10 books ish per month so my reading mood is a bit down but that's okay so i'm just gonna do some work and i think in the afternoon i'm just going to listen a bit more to babel by rf kung because i'm listening to that on audiobook and it's a really good audiobook but it's a little bit slow so we'll see how we get on with that but let's start packing some orders It is much later, it is nearly 3 p.m. and this guy who was supposed to fix or like do something with our electric and gas was supposed to be here between like 12.30 and 2.30 and it is currently nearly 3. So I've been waiting for so many hours and I don't even want to start filming any like reels or something because what if he suddenly comes and I'm just like oh I'm like filming mood and with the film camera and everything and the uh, tripod so this is a bit annoying. I have finished um, packing all the orders though, which is nice, but I can't really start cutting stickers. I wanted to cut stickers, I wanted to do some reels and stuff, but I guess I'm just gonna have to wait. By the way, my nails are so long. These are my natural nails. They've been growing like crazy because of the bee up and I'm gonna do it I think one more time. I'm not gonna get them any, like don't want them any longer, but just a different color because they are growing out a lot as you can see but I'm still so obsessed every time I feel like a little bit mm, I just look at my nails and just like mm, makes me instantly happy <laughs> okay I think I'm just gonna continue working on some things that don't require me to like do a full filming setup and stuff or cut stickers because that makes the loudest noise this guy better come quickly well it's nearly 7 p.m. they didn't show so I've sat here all day um, just waiting for them and not doing the things that I wanted to do. I just did a little bit of work, which sucks. But I really need to go now because I'm going to my last salsa lesson. Um, I did like 20 weeks of salsa and now I just know all the basics. And it was a fun little thing to learn. I'm not gonna do extra courses because I just wanted to learn the basics and like if I want to do some salsa, I can definitely do some fun salsa moves. But I have my last lesson in half an hour. So I'm gonna go there and I will probably see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Thursday. I'm going to try to make it into a better day today because yesterday was not really my day. Also at the end of the day I had my salsa lesson, it was my sal last salsa lesson of this course and I just wasn't feeling it. I was still a bit grumpy from just the entire day of that guy not showing up and me just having to stay at home for nothing and not doing the things that I wanted to do so my salsa lesson just wasn't the best. Luckily my boyfriend cooked a lovely meal for me which was very sweet and then I just watched some first dates which kind of you know brightened my day a bit because first dates is such a fun show but today it is very sunny it feels like spring i believe it's going to be like 17 degrees celsius and i'm excited the only thing is i do have to work in the swan market store where i sell my products it will be in rotterdam so it's not too um far away and i'll be bringing lots of little things with me again to like do in the store i'm going to create some sticker packs i'm going to mainly focus on that basically i've just printed out lots of stickers so I can create fun sticker packs and I am also 58% of the way through the love hypothesis and around 50% of the way through Babel because this morning I cleaned a lot 
and I listened to like 10% of Babel and I'm finally kind of back into it. It, it. it felt a bit slow, but now things are kind of progressing and they're getting older and things are happening, which I'm very excited about. So I'm about halfway through Babel by R of Kung, which is really good so far. But right now I'm just going to grab my stuff, go over to the store and tonight I'm going to hang out with some friends, which I'm very excited about because I haven't seen them in a long time. So let's go over to this store in Rotterdam. And also I'm going to add a new store to the collection of where I'm selling my products, which will be Drome Concept Store in Delft. And I am already selling in the Swan Market Store in Delft, but I mean, any extra store might be good. So it will be the Drome Concept Store in Delft. And I will take my products there on the Tuesday, let me see, Tuesday the 19th. So from the 19th of March, you can also get some of my products at Drome Concept Store, which I am so excited about. Happy Friday everyone. I'm gonna do a little unboxing this morning because I got a very fun package in the mail from, just gonna cover my address, um, Daphne's Diary. And they all have these very fun products that have to do with journaling and just creative things. And they asked whether I wanted to receive some products. So I thought that would be really cute and fun. So let's do a little unboxing. I have no clue what's in here. How cute, look at this. First of all, a little card. Thank you so much. First thing I see is this. I think this is a notebook made out of like recycled paper, like handmade paper or something like that. This is really cool. This would be perfect for like painting. All the pages literally look handmade. That's amazing. Then next, this is, oh, this is gorgeous. It's a diary, like a 2024 um, diary, like a planner. And it's full of note cards as well, like postcards. And, oh wow, look how amazing this looks on the inside. That is so gorgeous. I love planners and stuff. And oh, look, a little caprese salad um, recipe. Wow, this is like a whole museum in itself. That's amazing. And lastly, I see that magazine. They made a magazine. This is number two of 2024 with re like recipes, mindfulness, stickers, posters, and lots of creative inspiration. That is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to read this and just like, you know, delve into Daphne's Diaries world. This was really lovely. Thank you for sending me these lovely goodies. Today is a work day and tonight I am going to a fun pub quiz, which is hosted every couple of months and my friends and I always join. And some reading updates. I read a little bit more from uh, The Law of Hypothesis. And that's it actually. I'm just gonna do some more work today. I need to ship some orders. And at the end of the day, I'm going back to my parents' house, which is where like in the city where the pub quiz is hosted. Okay, all the packages are shipped. It is currently 1.30. So I still have quite a few hours before I need to go to uh, my parents and I just want to talk about this guy at the post office because he always makes my day. He's so freaking kind and every time I go there because I often pick up packages when I like buy something or vintage he's just like oh Madam Brit you're back again how are you doing hey sweetheart how are you but there's literally a difference between like old creepy guys and old like pervy guys and this guy he genuinely means it and he's so kind and he always makes my day so yeah i just love him he's always wearing these fun bent tees and then i'm always like oh i like your t-shirt today as if it's like the beatles or the who or you know all these old bent tees and it's just so much fun he literally only wears bent tees so yeah we wish each other a very happy weekend and my weekend is already good right now my god that guy radiates such lovely energy. Um, what I'm gonna do now, because my house is a mess, whenever I get back home, I always just throw my jacket 
like on my table and throw my shoes on the floor and then I will clean it um but right now I don't like it <laughs> so I'm gonna put on my audiobook for Babel um by the way this is not sponsored but I'm listening to this audiobook on BookBeat which I am loving it's such a great audiobook app and if you're from the Netherlands and you would like to try out BookBeat for 45 days for free you can just cancel anytime you want definitely use the link in my description it's an affiliate link so you would also really help me out and you can just listen to so many amazing audiobooks they give you a specific um, number of hours that you can listen to these audiobooks every month and if you don't like the audiobook you can just choose a new one so you don't really have to pick one and stick to it you can just choose a different one and you've got like a couple dozen hours of audiobook time that you can listen to so definitely try it out um, I'm listening to Babel right now by Earl of Kong so we're gonna continue with that one because I'm over halfway through and I'm getting more and more into it so let's do some cleaning and let's do some audiobook listening and also, my mind's going everywhere. I recently got this little um, thingy where you can cut the corners of things in a nice round way. And normally, my bookmarks look like this because it is freaking expensive to get to cut the corners like cut um, round. But with this little thing, I can make it like this. and It's so beautiful. And now I'm thinking, should I round the corners of all of the single bookmarks that I have? Um, but uh, it just looks so cute. So maybe with a few bookmarks, um, I will round the corners. It just looks really nice. Uh, also did it with this one. It looks so nice. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're gonna do some cleaning. Okay, so as you saw, I just collected lots of products for a new shop that the Drone Concept Store um, that I'm going to be bringing my products to next week. So what I did is I collected the displays, I collected the products and I'm really happy with how it looks. So we've got all of these postcards, we've got a sticker set, coasters, notepads, um, pins and some prints. And over here we also got some bookmarks. So I'm really excited. So yeah, I hope it's gonna sell well, you never know. And I'm also, I don't know if I told you, going to the Swan Market store in Harlem because that one is opening in April and I'm so excited. So I also need to prepare for that. Um, but yeah, okay, it's like a quarter past four. I think I'm just gonna finish a few more things work-wise and I'm just gonna enjoy the weekend and yeah. Hopefully win the pop quiz, although I doubt it, but it's definitely gonna be fun. Happy Monday, I'm just hopping on here to end this vlog and also to give you just a final few updates of my weekend because first of all, we did the pub quiz. In the end, we were 14th out of the 40 teams, so it's not too bad, although the last time we entered, we were 4th out of the 36 teams, so it wasn't our best pub quiz. We were also missing someone, um, but yeah, it was very fun nevertheless. And then this weekend, actually, was drawing so much and I drew quite a few fun kind of like flower designs and I'm so excited to just like do things with them but just I don't know what maybe a bookmark maybe an art print and I'm just very excited as you can see <laughs> lots of flower prints lots of different colors I'm just very excited um by the look of this so we'll see what we can do with this it felt good kind of draw new things and just like I was really into it and I really wanted to just continue drawing and designing so I'm excited I really hope to do some more of that soon and then this weekend I did something that I never thought I would do because my boyfriend and I decided to watch Twilight we had both never watched the films or read the books and 
I don't really know how we decided to do this, but we have watched the first two Twilight films already this weekend, and boy, it's bad, but it's so funny. We're literally just laughing out loud at the cringe of these films, and don't get me wrong, I can totally understand, like, especially if you grew up with these films or with these books, how you can be a total Twilight fan. I don't even know what the name of it is if you're like a Twilight fan, but it's interesting. <laughs> Let me keep it at that. It's so much fun though to watch these for the first time, um, being a 28 year old adult. So I am definitely enjoying this first time watching all the Twilight films. I don't think I'll be ever like reading the books, but who knows? I also never thought I would watch the film, so maybe I will read the books one day. So that was really fun. And then we ordered some Chinese food and we just chilled a lot and it was just a very cozy weekend and it felt really good. And finally some reading updates. I'm about 70% of the way through The Love Hypotheses and about 65% of the way through Babel. Still haven't finished either of the two books but hopefully by my next vlog I will have a few reading updates. I also had some dinner with one of my best friends Michelle so it was a lovely weekend and now I've just been working today and editing this vlog but I'm going to end it now so I really hope that you like this vlog if you do please do give it a thumbs up and if you want to comment something comment any type of flower emoji because I've been drawing many flowers the past few days for these new illustrations that I'm working on so comment any type of flower. Thank you again so much for watching I really hope you're having a beautiful day and I'll see you in my next video.